Okay. Well, it's 16 degrees out there, light fluffy clouds, a lot of sunshine around after that rain last night that you talked about, Jan. Charlie Hodgson, 35 years of age now, gets us underway. In it. But the big gun should be a competition. Head down, Charlie Hodgson, nice strike, said somebody in a Saracen shirt. He's been striking the ball nicely for, oh, I don't know, 30 years or so. Terrific footballer, outstanding passing game. Richard Barrington attempts to pick up. The Toulouse defence is uh, fairly percussive there, so holding Saracens out at the moment, just uh, pushing them back. And then pushing forward again. And Charlie Hodgson just decides that he will take three points, another three for Saracens. And again, a lot of smooth moves from the old England veteran. Saracens tend to be so clinical. When they're in the ascendancy, they make it pay. Keep that scoreboard ticking over. So Charlie Hodgson successful with that penalty and the drop goal so far. 38 caps for England and uh, scored plenty of points for his country too, over 250 to add to, well, the thousands of points he scored elsewhere. And he's got that crisp style of his that seems to waste absolutely no energy at all, no stress on any of those leg muscles. And it's good, so comfortable, always looks. At ease under the high ball, and ease with running with ball in hand as well. Alex Good, this is great rugby. This is absolutely superb rugby from Saracens. And it's Ben Spencer who scores a sizzling, flamboyant Saracen strike. But talk about aspects of the game that have improved the transition from a, I think, a pretty awful kick from McAllister, a nothing kick, bags of time. For good to loss a counter attack, he probes there. He, does, he doesn't panic. He probes for the weakness in that chase from uh, from Toulouse. There wasn't much of a chase. He found the little gaps and then doesn't panic when he gets in the backfield. Attacks two props, the Steen Camp and Tialata. Oh, attacks boys, the gap between them. Doesn't panic. The he waits for the support the runs and that's a superb yeah, chips yeah. over the top to score by the outside of the inside foot. Huh? That's a brilliant Check counter attack out. try. He's into your 90 seconds. Uh, and that's what we were talking about in the first half, was that the Saracen shot selection these days, you know, that ability to pick when to strike, to, to see where the fractures are and then take advantage of it. And this is set apart when you look at a counter-attacking game, they're starting now to integrate with you know, the well-documented defence and kicking game that's brought so much success to Saracens, but they have to bring a counter-attacking ability as well, that threat and attack. But this is a, a kick that Saracens need to put to lose away here or certainly make it difficult for Toulouse to come back to get beyond those seven points. It would be, you know, great for them, wonderful for them to go through the pool with six straight wins. When you think of the scoreboard alone, 19 points to 12, it does not reflect how the game's unfolded. Saracens dominate in so many aspects of this game. To lose, in fact, the last team other than Toulon and Leinster to win the Champions Cup. Those two winning the last five. Toulon claiming the last three. Toulouse also losing in two finals as well. But it looks like there's been a, a big shift in recent times with Leinster, Toulon, and now maybe this is Saracen season. So the final score, 28 points to 17 to Saracens. The story of this group, Ulster's try bonus point at the Kingspan Stadium, 18 points in the pool, and Saracens, six wins in the pool. They top it, their sixth European Cup quarter final and fifth in a row. And who knows, this might be the season when they go all the way.